Hello everyone, welcome back to Bella's Big Adventures. My name's Sue and today Doug and I are in France. As you can possibly tell, it's quintessentially French this way. Peaceful, sleepy little wine village. Single dog barking. <laughs> but it's really beautiful. We've got all this sort of soft yellowy stone, almost Cotswold like. And yeah, we are not in the van for this trip. We are driving around. We're going heading off to a villa later on today to meet some friends but for the last two days we've been driving through the wine country so we went through Champagne yesterday which I'll put some footage in here for you now. Today though we are in Pelini Montrachet, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, and it's a beautiful quiet little village that noises this lovely fountain behind me uh, and the temperature is getting up, <laughs> yesterday it was a nice 35 degrees, at the minute it's early, nice and early so bearable temperature. Today I think it's set to be 40 degrees where we're going so that's not going to be so great. So it'll be a quick dash to the supermarket and lie by a pool for the weekend I suspect and then we'll do some more exploring and we'll take you along. There is lots of things to see and do in this area. If it's one place you've never been, obviously it's not on the coast, um, then it's worth coming along. Look at these beautiful flowers. We made a fabulous area here. So this whole village is wine growers, basically. Wherever you go, all the bars, all the restaurants, all the hotels are associated to a wine grower or one another. So we had a little wine tasting yesterday, which was lovely. Uh, it's not the cheapest, I have to say, but it's a limited area, this, so the wine's beautiful, but not cheap. <laughs> uh, yeah, but the area itself, if you're worth, is definitely worth coming through. There are several campsites and airs around France, as you possibly know if you've been before. It's full of fabulous places to stay. And in August, I have to say, most of the French people are on holiday. Uh, so you do have to be aware that some places might be closed, but yeah. It's a beautiful place, absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Nice and peaceful, apart from the dog barking. There's a bar there. And Doug's just exploring in front there. You can have a look at the rest of the village before we have some breakfast. Growers are signposted so you can go along and call into their premises and buy a bottle or three. Yeah, it's a beautiful place, really quiet. There's a little deli down there, Doug, epicerie and bar restaurant, and there's a little boulangerie. all these little French squares and the stonework is so beautiful even the little ramshackle sort of shutters are really cute 
very, very French looking, isn't it? There's the village church. And we're down here. So, time for some of those fabulous croissants that we're renowned for. We're heading to a small village near Sarlat. Um, not far from Bergerac, basically. So, never been there before, so we're going to go and see what that's like. at least three castles on the way to get here and there's lots of motorhome parking not overnight in the car park here but you can visit for the day it's 13 euros 50 per adult It's a um, slightly rainy day here in France. As you know, if you're a regular viewer, we always take the rain wherever we go, even red hot scorching France. <laughs> uh, we are in a little place called Versace, um, which is near Sarlat. And um, our plan this morning is to go in there and have a look around. It looks beautiful. We drove around yesterday, saw some amazing castles. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna walk it, well, not walk, drive into town and uh, have a look around there today. It is showery, as I said, but hopefully it'll brighten up later, although they are forecasting a few thunderstorms and things, so maybe not. Um, we are staying in a lovely little villa, but we have passed quite a lot of campsites and camping car places, so if this is an area you haven't explored, I would thoroughly recommend it. There's canoeing on the river, obviously not on the coast, but there's canoeing on the rivers, there's castles, and beautiful little villages, so well worth looking at. This is an absolutely amazing town full of food with samples, wine, saucy song, nougat, you name it, it has it.
beautiful building for a shop. Wow, it's massive. Look at the size of these flowers. We can't decide if they're fake or not. They look fake, but I think they're hibiscus of some kind. Wow, look at the size of those. Massive. Well, we have officially found the rain, as usual, absolutely drenched. We had an amazing dinner though, so well worth visiting Sala. Bed, isn't it? of tree on top of it. Bonjour. Yeah, this definitely like reminiscence of Sim Simmons Yacht. Yeah the height of the cliffs as you come around the corner. Cyclist did. Oh yeah. And they're looking at us. So let's head that way. Just in case. <laughs> Waving at two ladies. <laughs> keep paddling, keep paddling. archway is much deeper because we've kind of grounded. It's shallow here. It said it's grounded. Yeah. It was it was alright. It was just a bitching was 
Not great. Could you? Could have gone closer to here and avoided it. Maybe that'll pick it up. Here we go. Whee! There we go. <laughs> Wonder if this is a Kind of like a, a World War fortification or something. in Dom, which is an accidental find, because yesterday we followed uh, um, our friend Mark and Doug, they were going canoeing, and uh, my friend Haley and I were following them to see them start the canoeing trip and accidentally took a wrong turn and ended up this hill town, hilltop town, and it's absolutely beautiful and we discovered there's market on today. So we've been along and had a good look around the market and it's absolutely beautiful. So lots of campsites around here. So if you are in the area, do, do come up here. It's well worth it. The view from the top is amazing. the road here there seems to be a campsite it's got tents caravans on there it says it's full at the minute but if you're coming this way Bainak we're at beautiful beautiful views and we're on the river Dordogne there's one behind the tree with a blue top there is at least six there's three red ones and three yellow and blue ones. 
as you can see around that tree and some red ones up here morning everyone we have left our friends and the villa and we have traveled northwest towards la rochelle which is where we are today um yeah it's a beautiful day not too hot it's been strange weather wise and um, we've had some rain as usual and some clouds but it's currently only about 19 degrees and we are in august um but yeah we're at Ro la rochelle port the tide is out yeah so let's go and have a look around this is one of the two towers at the port, the other being just on the end there. And this one is called the Lantern, apparently. some sluice gates by the looks of things or something for when the tide's high. Lots of little uh, lighthouses. Church in the background, cathedral possibly. Beautiful clock tower. Oh, very pretty and quiet because it's Sunday so that's always good. I don't think we're going to cover all this today. It's a big town but it's very pretty. He's just waking up, came early to try and avoid the crowds, but it's perfect. This is the beautiful clock tower. And we've just overheard a tour guide saying that the main square is 200 meters from the clock tower, so we'll go and have a look at that. A statue of somebody. I'm guessing Napoleon, but you never know. Not Napoleon, Dupair, whoever he might be. Sorry, my French history is rubbish. He's a captain and admiral. There we go. This looks like a main square. This is a carousel, which I'm going at the moment. building there. I love the sound of a market and all the smells, cheese, meat, fruit. God only knows what they are. This is what you call a market, it's even got wine. Got a big wheel and an inland lighthouse. Thank you. 
north um, coming to the end of our holidays we still have two days left and we're heading north towards Honfleur not quite Honfleur but just outside uh, we've got a hotel booked for the next two nights but it's quite a drive from La Rochelle so we've set off early and we're hoping to get there sort of mid-afternoon morning all well we arrived at our hotel last night and um yeah pretty much since then it's been pouring with rain <laughs> uh now we are the next day our last day in fact and we've come into Honfleur so we're gonna have a look around there so speak to you later so here we are in Honfleur a little bit grey and misty still the sun is trying to break through I think harbour within a harbour this beautiful planting scheme the museum here I think and the tourist information so we're going to have a look see what's what but the planting is fabulous look at the carvings on the front of this church a very lovely church. Yeah, so we've seemingly done our usual and come on a day when everything's closed. Tuesday, just for uh, reference. Your cute cobbled streets. Yes. <laughs> and it's raining quite hard now. It turns out Honfleur is not as big as I thought it was going to be. I'm being soaking wet from the brolly dripping all over me. Um, we've given up. <laughs> we've done the tourist walk and now we're going to head back to our hotel. As you can see we're just about to get on the train and head home and the sun's come out so if anybody's just arriving in France you're welcome we have taken the rain home with us I suspect if you haven't subscribed yet please do consider it it does help the channel and thanks for watching see you next time